I am Wally Lai. As one of the pioneer writers about space, I watched ideas I wrote about 20 years ago become everyday fact. Now I want you to come 20 years into the future with me on an imaginary journey to the planets. The journey is fiction, but the facts about the solar system and about the planets are as accurate as science can make them today. about it on the radio all God's 
its children want to know about the Tallahassee UFO. Saw it hover in a yellow beam. He tried to scream, but he could not scream. He saw it all as if in a dream. Though he knew that he couldn't be dreaming, it came up slow like a pack of eels. Flash of light and a sense of peace. Somebody must have called up the police, cause he heard the siren screaming. Shot like a bullet from a madman's gun He tried to run, but he could not run He considered calling 911 But that seemed a little too drastic Over the river king and that bamboo Over all the swamp land he's been through He discovered that what Einstein knew The time space is elastic Flying saucers come and go Heard about it on the radio All God's children want to know about The Tallahassee UFO It has an abundance of oxygen and of water and of the things we need for life. We're used to the length of its day and to the changing of the seasons. Yet we cannot help being curious about the planets. And one day, one of you who are watching now may be on the ship that makes the trip which was only imaginary today. It was stationary in the sky, uh, dark gray metallic, uh, you know, like I say, saucer shaped, mm -hmm. no lights, and it was there for some minutes. And then when it uh, disappeared, it just streaked through the clouds with such energy that it broke a, a big a blue hole in the overcast, and the hole wow. remained there for several minutes until the wind uh, drifted and pushed the clouds back together. So the blue was the sky. Yeah, the blue was wow. the sky, but but otherwise the the entire skyline was uh, was cloudy. Totally overcast, huh? Man, so. Totally. You know.